welcome to Easy Eatery. My name is Angela and today we're going to try out the Dash Pie Maker. I'm super excited about this. I just got this from um, Target for like 15 bucks and um, you know holidays are coming up and well I like to make things super small and easy anyway. This is going to be like so handy. I tried out the Dash um, Bud Cake Maker and that was like so super fun but the Pie Maker I'm super excited about. We can do so many things savory and sweet and um, just individualize them and um, yeah so let's go give it a try. I hope this works out. <laughs> Well, here it is. Okay, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what all it entails. So we're just going to unpackage this and then take everything out. Um, that's the instructional booklet right there. And uh, taking this little thing out of the bottom here was a little bit of a struggle because they really packed it in there very, very well. <laughs> anyway, but there it is. Okay, so just kind of turn that around here. And um, so look at there that's all that it's to it it's not very much right i'm thinking this looks easy enough to try out so here's the um the pastry cutter so it has a um you do one side is the top and one side is the bottom which is very convenient because it's just one one piece so it so you don't have a bunch of little pieces hanging around everywhere which always seems to be my problem <laughs> but anyway look how nice they are what's cooking good looking i like that <laughs> and then so we open that up so this is just basically telling you the instructions here okay so let's zoom in here so it shows you here that um how to basically use the cutter so that there's a top base and a bottom base which i already explained it says in here also to obviously not use um metal utensils and to wait five minutes before um cooking another one and it does take about three to five minutes to cook each pie so it also comes with this little recipe guide in the same pamphlet so pumpkin pie i'd like to give that a try there's cherry pie i love cherry pie and um yeah, so there's just a whole bunch of things. Apple pie, we're definitely gonna make that right now. And uh, let's see what else is in there. Chicken pot pie, I'm gonna make that too. Um, I'm gonna use my own recipes though. Um, I just wanted to get kind of like an idea, which it does give you on um, the proportions. So first we have to wash it all down. And um, so I just used a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some water and uh, rinsed it all off and dried it off as well. All right, let's go plug it in. You can tell that it's warming up when the little blue light pops on. You can see it right there. All right, so while that is over there warming up, which literally only takes a few minutes, let's go ahead and start cutting out our pastry. I'm just using one that you get from the refrigerated section at your local grocery store. Mine happens to be great value. I don't see a difference between that and Pillsbury, and Pillsbury costs a little bit more than great value, which, you know, so I might as well go with the cheaper one because you know what, hey, I don't, it doesn't, it tastes all the same to me but look how easy it is you just push that bottom part down and it's all perforated so um so it makes it go into the bottom of the unit perfectly here's the top part and let's get a little closer look here now that is easy as pie <laughs> all right pun intended there all right, so I'm gonna make some apple pie. So we're just gonna go ahead, and I'm just making mine straight from a can. I love this stuff, it tastes delicious to me. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down just a little bit into smaller chunks and add a little bit of cinnamon and just give that a nice little hefty stir. Okay, so that was easy enough. It's going pretty well so far. So we're gonna go ahead and plug, or you can see that the light had turned off, so it means it's nice and warm. I sprayed it down with a little bit of oil and it's time to put our bottom layer in. See how it perforates? It's like it's like perfect at the bottom. I like that a lot. All right, so it says to use a one third cup of filling and then to go ahead and put that top on, which I vented a little bit, and just let it sit there and hang out there for about five minutes or so. So um, keep checking on it, by the way. So this is it, what, what it looked like after five minutes. So far, it doesn't look that challenging, right? I'm struggling right now trying to figure out how to get it out of the unit. So it says not to use metal utensils, so basically you have to use a spatula, right? All right, so I broke it a little bit, no big deal, um, whatever. This is my first attempt, it's not cooked all the way on top, so I figured with the second one, which we're going to do right now, I'm going to add a little bit more filling to make it go up to the top a little bit more, so that the top will reach the top of the unit. 
So again, we're struggling trying to get this out and I'm very frustrated at this point because I can't figure it out. So I'm twirling it, I'm breaking the crust all apart and I'm very aggravated at this point. So I figured let's go ahead and just dump it out. However, it's way too hot to pick up. So you need to get some silicone mitts to protect your little fingers because this little unit gets really hot. All right, just dumped it out and uh, yeah, that's not exactly how I wanted it to look at all. Um, anyway, so just go ahead and turn that over. It did stay in one piece, kind of. This is the first one that we made. And, um, I mean, it, it needed more minutes, that's for sure. And, um, this is the second one. Now that my fingers are completely scorched, I can go ahead and pick it up, even though it's, like, still ridiculously hot. Um, but, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We're gonna keep on practicing with some more stuff. Let's go give it a try. Okay, let's go in and give it a bite. I already took a bite, <laughs> but, um, I didn't record that part of it. So, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside and everything like that. It did get warm all the way through. I do have to tell you that it was a little challenging for me to figure out how to get a bite on there because um, I still made my apple chunks a little too big, but that's all right. Let's go take a bite. Despite its appearance, it really is yummy, but let's continue on. So we're gonna cut the dough. Just to mention, don't twist it because look what happened right there. It made it a little too big. So I'm gonna make a breakfast one. So I'm just gonna use one egg and whip that up real quick like. And then I'm gonna add in some cheese and a little bit of ham. And um, you can put whatever vegetables you'd like in there or whatever it is that you like in there. You can just leave it just as an egg if you'd like <laughs> and just put a little cheese on there or something. Totally up to you, that's all optional. Um, I would cook it first though, just to mention that. And I added a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, into the pie maker it goes. So we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little spray of some oil. And we're just gonna use the bottom this time. So even though I kind of messed up on the bottom with the slicing part, it still worked out okay, no problem. All right, so it doesn't matter if you twist it or not. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and add that whole egg in there. Now I may have overstuffed it. I'm not too sure at this point yet. So, cause it's kind of oozing around, oops, but that's all right. So we're just gonna go ahead and close that. Five minutes later, this is what it looks like. So I went ahead and um, this one I have to say was a whole lot easier coming out of the machine. I don't know if it's because it didn't have that top on there or what it was, but this one was fine. No problem whatsoever. All right, now let's go cut into it. So, all right, this one is a ooey gooey mess still. It looks like it's done, however, it is not. And since I cut into it, there's no possible way of sticking it back into that little pie maker. So, air fryer it is. and air fryer works like stupendously. I love that thing. So I just popped it in the air fryer at 350 degrees for about four minutes. And this is what it looks like. Now, with the help of the air fryer, this turned out absolutely delicious. This is exactly how it's supposed to look. So going to get go take a bite. And um, yeah, this is delicious. I have to say this is like the perfect little quiche. Just delicious. So it did the hard work for me. It just needed a little bit of help to finish it off. No big deal. All in all, this took nine minutes total. So five minutes in the um, pie maker and four minutes in the air fryer. But we have one more we're gonna make. We're gonna make a chicken pot pie. So I just have some chicken here that I'm gonna dump into a little bowl. And um, I'm going to add in some um, some mixed vegetables. I just steamed those up real quick in the uh, in the microwave only took like a minute and um that just has like a little bit of everything in there it's just like a little vegetable medley and then i'm adding in some um some cream of chicken soup and that is it that's all i'm going to use and i'm going to go ahead and mix that together like literally three ingredients so and then i'm going to add in a little bit of pepper it's so easy now I'm gonna get a little bit daring here and I'm gonna do another one that is a top and a bottom. Um, this time I'm going to overstuff the bottom crust just a little bit because I feel like that one third that they suggest is just not enough to push it up to the top of the unit. So if it makes a mess, it makes a mess, no big deal. My house is always messy anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, just gonna go ahead and push that down, let it hang out for five minutes and five minutes later, this is what it looks like. This is a proper pot pie. So I'm like super excited at this point. Now I'm nervous also because 
I'm worried about getting it out. But you guys, check it out. It came out no problem. I didn't even break the crust. Can you believe that? <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the plate and um, check it out, you guys. It, this is like, I'm just like, wow. But it's like cooked all the way through. It's closed on the, it's sealed on the sides. It looks, it's starting to look like perfection right there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I keep saying go ahead. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why I say that all the time. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take a bite. So try and figure out where I want to cut into it. It did get a little bit dark on one side. However, I will take it. Hey, you know what? It's in one piece. So that's all that matters to me. And um, it came out of the unit and I'm like so excited about that. I'm not used to cutting by the way, like this, like backhanded like that. That's kind of weird to me, but I was trying not to get my hand like right in your face. So um, anyway, trying to learn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this one. This is how my grandma used to make it. It's so good. She just made it this, this exact same way. It's so super simply and it was absolutely delicious. So anyway, I'm going to give you a final review. All right. So was this little guy a complete fail? Not really. I mean, it did its job. Now, I think they could definitely improve it by getting the little handles to make it easier to pull out. But that's my opinion because, uh, yeah, I burnt my thumb really bad and whatever. Um, my fingers were all like, look how red they are. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, it gets very hot. You have to be careful of that. And, um, but it did what it said it's going to do. Uh, I just think if it just made it easier to get it out, that'd be just like perfect. Then it'd be good. It'd be a good little unit. Um, all in all, I liked it. Pros, definitely, it did its job. Um, I did have to get some help with my air fryer, uh, especially with the egg one. Um, but the the uh, chicken pot pie turned out beautifully. The apple pie, I, th I don't know if that was my error or what, but oof, I don't know. I just couldn't get it out of the machine. So anyway, all in all, it was fun. It's fun to play with. I don't highly recommend it, but I don't know. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Um, anyway. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up because I really like doing this kind of stuff. I just need more practice. <laughs> anyway, you practice with me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.